Okay, tonight we're going to uh, trim the bowls we made, and uh, it's a whole lot like when we trimmed our cups, but a little different. Uh, one of the things we can do with our bowls that we couldn't do with cups is to check the uh, thickness on the bottom of our clay before we start to see uh, how much clay we have to work with. So we have a little bit of clay there. Now I'm going to uh, fix that little hole in the bottom before we start, uh, just so that uh, it doesn't cause a leak in the future. I've taken the bat off the wheel head again, and we'll use the concentric lines to uh, center my bowl. Uh, and again, it's the same technique as we used on our cups. And the, Use my needle tool to check for center. Move it a little bit this way. And check it again. And we're looking pretty good, so I'm going to fasten it down with a few little clay balls. We're going to be using the same tools that we use to trim the bottom of our cups. We're going to be using the uh, large Kemper loop tool, a smaller loop tool, a rib, a needle tool, and a stick. So uh, we'll get started by uh, flattening the bottom with our large uh, loop tool. This is just going to give us a flat surface to work off of. Now one thing to remember is you're going to try to make the outside of your bowl mimic the inside of your bowl. And that will ensure that you have good wall thickness uh, top to bottom. So I'm going to take off this extra clay from trimming the foot on the, or trimming the bowl on the wheel and get us down to where we can work with finding that shape. Okay, now I'm going to establish the profile of the foot and I'm going to come in here and mark a line about right there this is determined by my eyeball telling me how that curve is going to follow. And then I'm going to make a mark that's going to be the inside of my foot. So I'm going to take this clay down on the outside of my foot. Again, when you're trimming, a little bit of speed is your friend. Because we want a little bit more, more pronounced, more elegant foot on our bowls than we have on our cups, I'm going to um, accentuate that foot by taking this tool and, and, and really defining what's going to be my foot. Now I'm going to take the side of the bowl down to match that. Keeping in mind what our memory tells us the inside of our bowl looks like. Now I'm going to take down the inside of the foot so we just have a nice little defined ring for our bowl to set on when it sits on the table. Now just clean it up a little bit, check our profile, now we're 
we're just going to uh, take our tool marks out. And we have a nice little foot on the bottom of our bowl. Okay, well, let's repeat that one more time. So we're going to take this bowl and again try to center it on our concentric lines to get us started. And I'm going to take my needle tool and just check it for center. So we can see what we got to go this way, a pretty good lick. And we're right about there. So I'm going to tie, hook it down with some little balls of clay again. I want to make sure that it's centered and firmly attached before we start trimming. Again, I'm going to take my big Cooper loop, Kemper loop tool and flatten out the bottom. Since this bowl is quite a bit more angular than the other bowl, I'm going to have to take a lot more off of the side. So I'm going to start taking that down. It's going to leave us with a fairly small foot. Okay, now we got that trimmed down to workable size. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mark the outline of my foot. And the inside of my foot. And then take away everything that doesn't look like my foot. Again, keep in mind that we're trying to mimic the inside of our bowl as we remove the clay from the outside of our bowl. got that foot established we'll remove the excess clay from the sides Take the excess clay out of the middle. We just need to clean it up a little bit.
little finger work. Your potter's mark. And you have a nice little rice bowl.